Hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel, David Madison, The Guardian. I am The Guardian. Um, I am practicing Jedi now for, and martial artist, uh, but practicing Jedi for three years in telekinesis. And this is a practice that I just started, which is, it's called striking the air. I call it striking the air. I don't know what other people call it, but. Now you can combine that with creating kind of like a vacuum. What you're trying to teach yourself is, how does this thing roll, right? Will it continue rolling past a certain point? Um, will it continue like doing this thing that it's doing right now? Uh, will it maybe turn? See how there's a, a space where it will turn? So your the exercise starting out is kind of just striking the air. Then the other exercise is to deliberately try to pull the air to create a vacuum so that air pressure on this side pushes. And you want to do that from further and further away. So you'll start in close. Another thing you want to do is go over the top of it back and forth. Getting a sense of like magnetics go forward and back like this. Curve around it. You're just trying to, you're building empathy. You're observing. And at some point, um, you'll get to the point where you can move this with just your mind and energy. I'm not at that point, I'll tell you right now. I can do this on water though. I can move this on water um, when it's floating on water. But this is a practice that I'm going to start doing. I'm going to add it to tin foil, tin foil under glass, um, different kinds of spinners, and then marble, uh, or basically a sphere that won't roll, that you balance the thing on. Um, that's kind of like a reverse side wheel, an upside down side wheel. Than, than rolling things on the desk itself. So making like a half tube of, of tin foil, rolling that. Um, having something standing up and cause it to, you know, go back and forth like that. Uh, when it's springy, like the bottom of it is kind of folded like that. And it's straight up, so the bottom, so it, it kind of hinges like this. And then, and then something else that's folded kind of like this that sets down. And you'll play with the tolerance by moving that. Or like a curved bottom, like a dollar bill, you can curve it and stand it up. And the less curved it is, the more likely it's going to fall over. But... <clears throat> This is a good, a really good training tool. Here's another thing you want to practice, which is uh, you pull, you pull this tab out, 
and it allows it to balance back and forth like this. And then you can That's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment, and share. Until next time, my friends, peace and be well.